Brian Booker with Western Service, um, owner. The original owner was Wesley Gas, who started the business in 1963. And I purchased the business in 2008. Wesley's was originally started in Calumet City and it's currently still in Calumet City. He started off at a gas station. Um, then he, he got the building, our old facility that's on site here. He had that and within 2020, I built a brand new facility and that's where we are. We, the, the Chicago area region, Chicago, Indiana, Wisconsin, you know, within, you know, within a certain radius, you know, within this region we handle and stuff. We started, you know, basic light duty service, heavy duty, uh, transportation. It's like one call does it all kind of. Um, I started off driving a flatbed and just like, oh, you, you see the big trucks, like, oh, I want to be a big truck driver. I want to drive heavy duty. I want to do heavy duty. And then I just got the opportunity to be in heavy duty. And then once you get into heavy duty, it's like, oh, I want to drive a rotator. And then you, you get a chance to get into a rotator. And then it's like, hey, you want to do transport. It's just like, you, you, just, you just keep wanting to, you know, expose yourself to more and learn more. Each, each toll you go on can, can be a challenge. You know, um, it's, it's never, no toll is actually the same. So, um, I would say every toe you go on, you, you you gain some type of knowledge. July 2012, we um, I had just, I just recently had purchased my rotator. I think I had it for a few months. Um, the fire department called and said, "Hey, we have a fire engine that sunk. It fell through a sinkhole on the street, and it's on top of a gas main. Get out here right now, right now. Get out here right away." So it's just like, "Oh, okay." So I get out there. It's like, "Oh, wow." You know, you think it's just simple, just pick it up and and move it, which, you know, that's what we thought. So as we getting rigged up, I saw them bringing out a, a gurney and stuff like, hey, what, like some, someone passed out around here? They're like, no, it's on the gas main. So if something goes wrong, we won't be able to get you out of here and get you to the hospital right away. It's like, oh, oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. So um, that, was, that was a challenging call to know that you have a fire engine sitting on the gas main that could break and it can be bad. And it, it came out well, you know, no one was injured, so by getting the up to date, keeping the equipment up to date so the guys got the best equipment out there to use, um, that, that, that helps out a lot. Um, so their equipment not breaking down as they out there. If they can, if they have, if you give them the good tools, they can perform a, a good job duty. With Western Service, I have 31 employees. Um, that's including the dispatchers and that's, you know, a variety of light duty and heavy duty and service guys. I'm Gina. Uh, I am actually the assistant to the director of operations and I'm actually going on my ninth year at Wessex Service. My job responsibilities, they vary every single day, <laughs> whatever Ryan needs done actually. Um, I could answer dispatch calls, but I do mainly the accounting, I do the HR, I do lean processing, I do RFPs, I do responses, um, pretty much anything that needs to be done. I just kind of feel like this is a family here and I just feel that, I don't know, it's, I don't look at it as, a, as work, really. It's just kind of like my day, I wake up and I do Wes's. So uh, rewarding would just be seeing the day go smooth. <laughs> That's great. Um, projects getting completed and the boss being happy. <laughs> That's probably the most rewarding part of the day is the boss being happy. My name is John. I've worked for Brian for about six months now. I've known him for about 20. Um, I do pretty much everything, drive heavies and light duty and medium. Uh, typical days, nine, 10 hours, um, five, six, seven calls a day. Uh, the most challenging aspect is not knowing what you're really going on. Every call is different. No matter, it could be the same tow that you dispatch, but it's different when you get there. The most rewarding part of the job is helping people. My name's Al Green, been here 12 years. I have been in the towing industry for probably 30 years. Typical day here is normally getting trucks back on the road that might have broke last night and then do some towing for police. I stay local because I'm the maintenance guy, so I repair our equipment first and then I move cars around the yard that people are picking up with the loader. Do some service calls too sometimes, depending on if you get calls. My favorite part of working here is the camaraderie of all the guys, you know, work as a team. Good bunch of people. My name is Elizabeth Williams. I've been with Wes's for about four years now. And then my role is a dispatcher. The type of calls that we receive every, every day is different. Nothing is ever the same. They can range from 
lots of PD stuff to recoveries to just your basic simple tire changes. The most rewarding is definitely like the sense of fulfillment. Like I love, I can't be idle. I love the constant fast paced, even the chaos I do. So that's definitely the most fulfilling and rewarding is just knowing that we're out there helping someone too. You know what I mean? It's, it's never the same thing twice. My name is Nick Lanigan. I am a heavy operator here at Westers. Been here for four years. I've been in the toy industry for about nine, going on 10 years now. Typical day for me is, I would say no two days are the same. Um, maybe just a regular tail for a breakdown a day, and tomorrow might be a full-fledged recovery with a rollover or something like that. Um, I think that's the great challenge of the job, no two days are the same. It's always a learning experience. You'll never know everything there is about towing or the industry. Um, always take advice from veteran drivers. Um, even though I've been in it 19 years, I've never claimed to know everything. I'm always open to learn something new and just take that and take every day as a learning experience. Um, my favorite aspect is the, um, the environment. It's a very good work environment. We have a very good boss that um, tends to his employees and make sure everybody is good. And we have a uh, fleet of well taken care of um, equipment. I've been a customer with Zips for, uh, let's say, like nine years. They give me my equipment right away. The customer service is great. Um, if I need something, like I say, they give it to me right away. If I order a truck, they they, if they promise me a date, that's the date the truck comes in. And they communicate a lot. Like throughout the whole process of a bill, they let you know step by step what's going on. Hey, if it's gonna run late, it's gonna run late. Uh, we need to change this. Uh, you need to come out and see this. And um, just it's just good customer service. First time at Zips, I was building a, a 51, uh, a 50 ton rotator actually. Um, I got there and it was like, wow, it's, it, it was pretty amazing. Like the, you walk into the front entrance and it's like, you know, it's all wide open and it was, it was, it was a great experience. The truck stop brought from Zips, it, it goes from uh, a 3212, a little small wrecker, to a RSB, to a 5130, to a 50-ton rotator, to a 75-ton rotator. So um, I, it's like every variety I've gotten from Zips. If I had to describe Zips in one word, it would be excellent. Lon Schlater, I'm a Illinois sales rep for Zips in Northeast Iowa. And uh, been working in sales since 1989. I guess the favorite thing about my job is building trucks. Um, kind of personalizes them for the customer. Um, and it gives me the best joy when you deliver a truck to a customer and they're excited about it. Brian builds uh, pretty much the top of the line. I mean, he, he knows what's out there for the equipment. Um, he always throws in a couple extra things on every build that's a little different from the last one. And, um, you know, what can we add? Or what can we do with this? You know, likes the custom stuff, but it actually helps him with, you know, when he's out on the job to make it easier for him to work, work the truck and work the scene. Brian's operation is pretty top of the line. Um, he treats his employees well. You can tell that, you know, he asks them, you know, Hey, I'm building this truck for you, um, sp some specialized stuff. What do you want in this truck? And I think that goes a long way with the uh, uh, employees that he has. I'd say the best aspect of working for Wes's is knowing that I can always go to Brian if I have a problem or an issue. He's always there to listen. I honestly, I can't say enough about Brian. I wouldn't still be here if, it, if I didn't feel that he was an excellent leader. Um, I do think he not only leads um, by example, because he's not one of those guys that just sits in the office and you know tells everybody else what to do. He literally goes out in the field and does it. I often ask him how many hours he has in his day because I don't know how he gets it all done, <laughs> but he's just so dedicated. He just truly is somebody who just works so hard and um, he's determined. It's impressive what he's done and he's done it with his team, um, but he just has so many he, he just has so many goals and he just works so hard to reach them all. And I just, I can't say enough about him as a leader. Towing is definitely not for every, everyone. You know, it's, it's, it's a lifestyle. It's just not a job. It becomes part of who you are and you, you either love it or you hate it. So, you know, being in it for so long, I've just learned to love it and I really don't know anything else. I've tried other jobs. It just was so boring and I couldn't do it. So here I am. If Wes's could be remembered in one way, I would say as a good provider for, for everything, you know, because of the service that we give.